Welcome to CAM Look, your twice weekly dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum, when a member of the CAM family shares a work from our collection and poses a few questions for discussion. We hope you'll check back on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new chat. Hi, my name's Emily, and I'm the Director of Learning and Interpretation at the museum. And today, in honor of National Hispanic Heritage Month, I'm really excited to share with you the works of Mexican photographer Manuel Alvarez Bravo. Enjoy. As I share a bit about this amazing photographer, I'll be sharing works in the CAM collection as well as a few images of him. But first, I want to start with this quote from Alvarez Bravo. Quote, I was born in the city of Mexico, behind the cathedral, in the place where the temples of the ancient Mexican gods must have been built. February 4th, 1902. Interested since always in art, I committed the common error of believing that photography would be the easiest. The memory of intense in other fields makes me understand now that I found my road on time." End quote. Manuel Alvarez Bravo was a photographer who was most noted for his poetic images of Mexican people and places. He was Mexico's first principal artistic photographer and is the most important figure in 20th century Latin American photography. Born into a family of artists and writers, Alvarez Bravo grew up in an, quote, atmosphere in which art was breathed, end quote. After his father died when he was 13, he left school and went to work as a clerk at a textile factory and later at the Mexican Treasury Department while studying accounting at night. He eventually took classes in art at the Academy of San Carlos. After meeting German photographer Hugo Brem in 1923, he purchased his first camera and was largely self-taught. Alvarez Bravo's photography career spanned from the late 1920s to the 1990s. It formed in the decades after the Mexican Revolution, the 1920s to the 1950s, when there was significant creative output in the country, much of it sponsored by the government wanting to promote a new Mexican identity based on both modernity and the country's indigenous past. Through his friendships with Italian photographer Tina Modati, Alvarez Bravo met the American photographer Edward Weston and many of the leading artists of the Mexican Renaissance, including Diego Rivera, Frida Kahlo, Rufino Tamayo, David Alfaro Cisqueros, and Jose Clemente Orozco. He took over Modati's job as a photographer of the magazine Mexican Folkways after her deportation. He had his first one-man show in 1932. While he was also interested in filmmaking, still photography made his reputation. He exhibited photographs regularly, and in 1935, he participated in a groundbreaking photo exhibition with the French photographer Henri Cartier-Bresson and the American photographer Walker Evans at the avant-garde Julian Levy Gallery in New York City. His career included over 150 individual exhibitions of his work, along with participation in over 200 collective exhibitions. Alvarez Bravo's primary subjects were nudes, folk art, and rituals, especially burials and decorations, shop windows, urban streets, and everyday interactions. Although he did much of his work in Mexico City, Diego Rivera encouraged him to visit the towns and rural areas. Alvarez Bravo's photographs almost never depict trappings of political power, instead preferring subjects related to everyday life. Most of his subjects are nameless. In addition to his main subjects, he also sought out certain textures, especially the surfaces of walls and floors. He used large cameras which produced more detail in the finished print. However, he was more concerned with the images he photographed than the technical quality of his prints. The compositions were were excellent and the images poetic. So, as I've been discussing Alvarez Bravo and sharing works in the CAM collection, have any of the photos jumped out at you? I'm especially drawn to this image, the daughter of the dancers. I wonder, what is she looking at in the small round window? We're looking at her, but what is she looking at? In doing my research, I found on the Museum of Modern Art's website a thought about this work. They suggest that her awkwardly placed feet with one foot atop the other as she stands on her toes calls to mind the figures in Mexican reliefs and carvings made before the Spanish conquest and that the girl 
Dressed in traditional Mexican costume may be interpreted as representing Mexico searching for its past through the window in the well-worn wall. I don't know. What do you think? Thanks for joining me today for this cam look on Manuel Alvarez Bravo. While these works are currently not on display because they're light sensitive, it's amazing that we have them in the collection. We hope to see you soon on your next visit to the Cincinnati Art Museum. And until then, thanks and have a good day.